Today you will experience a day in La Africana, a concentrating solar power plant in southern Spain. Concentrated solar power, or CSP, is different from photovoltaic because it first converts the sun's energy into heat to drive a conventional power cycle. CSP plants don't have solar panels. What you are seeing here are giant mirrors called parabolic troughs of about 7 meters wide. CSP follows the same principles as coal and gas plants, but uses, instead of fuel, heat collected in the solar field. The parabolic troughs track the sun using sensors, and they move so that the sun rays fall directly on the mirror, reflecting them back onto the absorber tube running at the focus of the troughs. Inside the tubes, a transfer fluid captures the heat and it transports it through the network of pipes at about 400 degrees Celsius, then goes to the power island where the heat it contains is converted through a heat exchanger into steam. Whilst the heat collected in the solar field comes through the pipes into the heat exchangers, two parallel activities are taking place. First, some of the heat is being used to generate electricity immediately. Second, the rest of the heat is stored away in molten salts for later use. The steam moves from the exchangers to the turbine where it generates electricity. As it leaves the turbine, the steam is condensed in the cooling system and looped back again into the heat exchangers. Although La Africana is wet-cooled, dry cooling is common in CSP plants, particularly in desert conditions. After the process is complete, the electricity produced is dispatched to the grid, whilst the transfer fluid is looped back to the solar field, where a new cycle begins. The control room is the brains of the operation. Here, engineers take stock of what is going on through the whole plant. The movement of the transfer fluid through the pipes is directed from the control rooms, as well as the intake into the exchanges and, of course, energy production. As the sun sets in La Africana, operations are not coming to an end in the CSP plant. Instead, electricity will be generated through the night in a 24-hour non-stop operation. Molten salt is a very reliable, cheap and well-known heat storage system. The storage mechanism of a CSP power block consists of two tanks of molten salt. One of the tanks has hot salt, the other has cold salt. During the day, the cold salt is heated for storage to about 400 degrees Celsius and stored in the hot tank. During the night, the reverse happens. La Africana can store up to 7.5 hours of energy at full turbine capacity. But CSP plants can store energy for much longer periods and work as batteries, lasting days using the system because the efficiency is very high. Hot molten salt only loses about one degree Celsius of temperature per day. Global deployment of CSP is 5 gigawatts today, compared with 320 gigawatts for PV. Yet in less than a decade, the price of CSP has been reduced dramatically to a third of its original. Supply chain optimization, technological innovations, financial conditions and economies of scale are further reducing the price of equipment in an impressive learning curve. Bids of 6 US dollar cents kilowatt hour are already a reality, making CSP competitive with coal and gas-fired power plants with 100% renewable energy. Deployment of CSP is also increasing rapidly with a current pipeline of 5 gigawatt of operational projects globally expected to grow sevenfold by 2030.